So multi-rotor versus fixed wing. So typically speaking, when we look at a multi-rotor, we're looking at surveying very small areas. With drones being mass data capture at speed, efficiency always has to play a large role in it. And picking the right tool for the job should always be at the front of a surveyor's mind of what tool they need to pick. So typically for multi-rotors, we'll use these for small stockpiles, small areas up to maybe 50 acres. We can do bigger areas, but obviously we're just going to take us more time on site, more batches required to do that. So we're going to take a look at multi-rotors versus is fixed wings. So typically speaking with multi-rotors or any kind of drone data collection, it's mass data capture at speed. So we really need to be thinking, are we choosing the right tool for the job? So with a sort of a small multi-rotor, something like a Phantom 4 RTK, we're going to be using these for small stockpile surveys to small to medium sized areas for data collection. Typically with uh, multi-rotor drones, these will have a small camera around 20 megapixels. And with efficiency playing a role, key role into data collection, the smaller the sensor size, the longer it's going to take us to collect data for it. So here we are going to look at multi-rotor versus fixed wing drones. Now with multi-rotors, Typically we're going to be using these to small to medium sized areas and people like to use multi-rotors just because of their ease of use. They can be put straight out of the box and fly and collect data. They are really versatile, so with some people with multi-rotors they can be used for say some inspection purposes or collecting some data for progress shots say on construction sites. Relatively speaking with the multi-rotors they, they are small and they are easy to operate and use for sort of small to medium sized survey areas. Fixed wings traditionally are used for large scale mapping or, or linear projects like roads. Uh, they tend to hold bigger sensors like a Sony RX which the wind truck can hold and they are even quicker than multi-rotors for data collection. Relatively speaking, we can normally fly them at much higher altitudes with the bigger sensors which they hold and achieve a very similar GSD to what, for example, a Phantom 4 RTK could uh, collect at around 55 meters. So with the choice of weapons in terms of picking the best tool for the job, fixed wings are used relatively for long or bigger areas. The great option with fixed wings and something like the VTOL system of the wing truck, we can use that on smaller sites as well because of the nature of how it takes off and lands. So this perception of fixed wings being used for large scale mapping is slowly becoming a road in a way because of VTOL capabilities of drones.